All right. While Europe is furiously scrambling to find alternative sources of energy, should uh, Gazprom pull the plug on nat gas exports to Germany and Europe, the eminent surge in Ukraine gas prices by 40% is probably the best indication of what the outcome would be. Russia is preparing to announce the holy grail uh, energy deal with none other than China, a move which would send geopolitical shockwaves around the world and bind the two nations in a commodity-backed axis. One which, as some especially on these pages have suggested, would lay the groundworks for a new joint commodity-backed reserve currency that bypasses the dollar. Something which Russia implied moments ago when its finance minister said that Russia may regain from foreign borrowing this year. Translated, bypass Western purchases of Russian de debt purchased by Chinese purchases of u.s treasuries and go straight to the source so like i said i will post the link on this but basically what they're saying is and the information i got from jim um he if you want to check his channel out please by all means if you want to pass his on i have no problem this is not ego thing i don't care if it's mine or his but share this information uh, one of the things that i could not verify on that website so it means he probably gets better information that i can is he's saying that this would happen potentially around may of this year which if you think about it, it's a little ironic when it comes to russia because one of their major holidays is in may it's called may day it's a russian holiday i think it might be the russian new year i'm not really familiar with it but that would be one heck of a coincidence now what does this mean well first of all if you've never heard of the petrodollar you really need to start work, um, researching this stuff. Most of my subscribers pretty much get it. But for the new people who are seeing this for the first time, basically what the petrodollar is, is Henry Kissinger in the late 70s, early 80s, I'm not sure of the exact date, it's irrelevant, basically convinced the Saudis and the world to use the petrodollar, a U.S. dollar, to be able to buy oil anywhere around the world. So if one country wanted to buy oil from another country, they couldn't just exchange their own currencies they had to exchange their currency for the dollar to be able to buy it now and i've been warning about people about this with the alliance of russia and china for a while now if this goes through and i'm not saying it's guaranteed because anything can happen in between those times but if it does happen and they bypass the dollar first of all like it's like i said in the beginning of that article um natural gas in europe has already increased 40 percent based on this just alone so just imagine just here in the United States of America Corporation, if all of a sudden gas went up 40 percent. Now, I don't think it'll go that high. You never know. But you know how people love to profit off of other people's misery. So if this does go through, even though we don't get our oil from Russia, at least not any um, significant amounts, if anything, you know that prices will rise. Now, what they're basically telling you is if this happens, they're going to bypass the dollar. Now, we already know that China is the number one purchaser of our debt. If they decide not to purchase anymore and start selling off, what do you think that's, one, going to do to the dollar and the U.S. economy? And two, what do you think it's going to do to the price of gold? So for all the naysayers who hate gold and silver for whatever reasons, people have to understand throughout history there are always lulls. And what lulls do is lull the ignorant people to sleep. They start taking for granted of buying opportunities because buying low is the best way to go. I had to learn that the hard way based on what I didn't think I knew back in 2010, 2011, when I was basing everything on good intention, but not enough knowledge. They use emotion to get you. And that's why people like Max Kaiser in early 2011 started pumping silver like there was no tomorrow until it got to 50, where I'm sure he sold off and made a lot of money. And then again, he did the same thing with Bitcoins, and he became a Bitcoin millionaire. But the average person does not pay attention to an event until it happens. Look at what happened with the stock market crash, and that created the Great Depression. A day before it happened, everything was fine. Everybody was going about their business. It was a normal day, just like any day. And then all of a sudden, the market crashes, and even millionaires were caught and ended up dozens committing suicide from losing all of their wealth. Kind of strange considering how many bankers, at least I think about eight of them this year alone, have committed suicide. So these will create panics. And by the time mainstream media talks about this stuff, 
it'll be too late for 99% of the people. So people like us, I'm not saying this is happening. I'm not saying this is a guarantee. Things can change. They can change their mind. Something could come along. There could be another false flag. There could be a change of heart. There could be arguments between the two and they couldn't agree or who knows. The United States can step in, make another deal. Anything can happen. There's endless possibilities. But if it does happen, those who hate gold and silver and don't see what's going on are going to be one of the many millions of people who all of a sudden will flock to it. And what do you think that's going to do to the prices of the commodities? Because if you think about it, about 1% of the world's population is currently stacking physical gold and silver. Just imagine if that doubles or triples or quadruples. Because like I've used an example before about the uh, village of Pompeii. The village of Pompeii was an island, I think, off Sicily, but somewhere in the Mediterranean. Uh, it, I think it was part of Italy. Um, that they were living under an active volcano, but it didn't erupt for centuries. So people figured, well, my father didn't have any problems with the volcano, his father, and so on and so on. It'll be the same thing. And they go about their business and just end up taking it for granted until one day the volcano erupted and everybody that was there died. And they died where they stood or where they slept. So that's the same thing with these markets. They're counting on the masses being lulled to sleep and being programmed by television propaganda where six, corpor six corporations own 90% of the media that you'll ever see, read, or hear. They tell you the opposite of what they're doing to get you into this lull sense of security. They keep pumping money into the system to give it the illusion that it's going well. But all you have to do is check on these things and see when 52 million people in the United States Corporation alone are on some form of food stamp or welfare program, that is not security. Jobs have been sent overseas, where mostly? To places like China. So the people that have gold and silver now are going to be really happy to have it if this scenario happens. And by the looks of it, that is a good possibility of happening. Again, I'm not guaranteeing it. That doesn't mean just because it was said it's going to happen in May, it does happen. But those who have the advance notice are the ones that are most likely going to succeed if the scenarios happen. So things you might want to check on is you know, the whole the whole food and water thing, because, you know, as much as gold and silver is wonderful, if you can't eat and you can't get to the stores because you see the shelves get taken away because people are buying whatever they can, those things can happen. And if you don't think that's a reality, just look at the East Coast and what happened with Hurricane Sandy. The people had over a week to prepare for it. They waited until last minute. They, they ended up having to sleep overnight in lines that took seven or eight hours to get gas. They, uh, the, the shelves for food and water were gone. The average person does not react until they have no choice, and then they overreact and panic. Those that are prepared in advance don't have to worry. That's why when Hurricane Sandy happened, I never had to wait in one line to get gas. I didn't have to worry about food and water because I already had it. And even though it wasn't a earth shattering event where the world was going to end, because I don't believe in the doom and gloom stuff, it doesn't mean scenarios can't happen. So those of you that have physical gold and silver right now, or those of you that see this information and say, I better start getting some, are going to have much more advantages if this happens. Because if China and Russia do do this partnership and they start either dumping U.S. debt or even just not taking it anymore, and they say, well, if you want to get any natural gas from us, you could take what could potentially be a gold back to yuan, because there's been a lot of rumors that China is trying to become the world currency, and that's why they've been buying so many thousands of tons of gold and basically outlawing the export of gold. So if there is a gold back um, currency, that would become money again. And since 1971, no country has had any of their currencies backed by gold. That would create a flood into that current that money. That would mean. Not the end of the dollar, but definitely a major devaluation of the dollar, especially when all of that debt that we exported into other countries start flooding back here. What do you think that's going to do to inflation and prices here? Because the, the, the dollar will be devaluated. And because gold is accepted everywhere in the world, it's going to be a security measure for your wealth. 
If you don't want to believe in this stuff, that's perfectly fine. I'm not here to put a gun to your head and tell you this is what you must do. I'm sharing information that the mainstream media isn't going to tell you. And the average hater out there who just has a personal vendetta against me for whatever reason is never going to agree with anything I say anyway. If you want to listen to those people and be part of a hating bandwagon and then miss the boat, hey, that's your thing. But just keep in mind, when the Great Depression happened, the very few that knew what was coming took advantage of the millions of people who were desperate to sell everything that they had just to have enough money to buy some food for pennies on the dollar. There were more millionaires that came out of the Great Depression after that tragedy happened than any other time in recorded history because the very wealthy, and I'm talking billionaires, they're like vultures. They can't get enough. They will swoop in and take advantage of every situation. And that's why gold and silver is really a good protection. And you also see that I was talking about just the other day about how you should be looking into things like palladium, which is mainly mined from Russia. Well, I made a video just yesterday saying that I purchased two ounces of palladium. I mean, I'm not a millionaire or anything. I can't afford a lot, but two two ounces is a lot considering I, I won the 500 on that ticket. So I used it towards that. Well, platinum right now, I'm sorry, palladium right now is up $27. Um, the second closest rising in these the major four commodities of gold, silver, platinum, and palladium is gold up $3. So I bought um, palladium at $761. It is now $797. It hit $800 earlier today. So I don't know how many people took advantage of that, but if you did take advantage of it, let me know. Because believe it or not, I'm not here for any personal vendetta or any personal agenda. I'm here to try and help people. I'm just a nobody that got sick of of hearing about all the lies and all the omissions. Because when the media, they may not tell you everything. And if you've ever heard the story, well, the, the line of omitting the truth is the same as lying. You know, pushing you towards an agenda is one thing. If they tell you something, you can at least, at least the smart people can go and say, well, you know what? I'm going to question it. I'm going to look it up. But if they omit things and they don't let you know about it, well, how can the average person look up something that they didn't know existed? Like the Act of 1871, like the fact that the United States Corporation went bankrupt in 1933, like the petrodollar, because the media does not talk about this stuff. They're either incompetent, which is bad, or they are doing it on purpose, which is bad. So you have to understand history. And that's why people end up getting very angry when they hear things that contradict what they've been brought up to believe. And if you believe the people at the top, their best interests are in you, the cattle who do nothing but graze on their grasses and they profit off of our ignorance. If you think they really care, just look at the video that I talked about the other day about how they slaughter cows. We're cattle. We make money for them until we no longer serve a purpose. Why do you think in wars, it's not the people that start the wars that go and fight? They send, what, the majority of people who go to the army? Because if you look at the army and the most people that join the army, they tend to be in very poor neighborhoods, which means they're taking advantage of people that can't get jobs. They offer them like money for college and a place to, to live and be able to create something beneficial to society. All they're doing is taking advantage of these poor kids by feeding them a little bit of debt, sending them overseas to do their dirty work so they can profit off of people's injuries and death with their capacity to murder other people to take their products. If you don't see the writing on the wall at this point, you're either just choosing to be ignorant or you're just a person that gets paid off to look the other way. That's why the majority of my subscribers actually get it. So this event, if you appreciate the information I give, my subscribers, I'm asking you right now, if you've come this far, if you like the information I give, I'm asking you as a personal favor, because the only thing I'm asking for is give it a thumbs up, favor and share it, give us a comment, tell us what you think, and if you are not part of the Bar None Nation, I want you to subscribe. The more people that come to this channel, the more we can get this information out and alert the people so if your friends don't believe in you and they don't trust what the mainstream media says and they're looking for real information, my channel, other people's channels, I'm not just saying mine. Like Jim Comiskey, like I said, is a great one to go to. Uh, Eric Sprott is a good person to listen to. Uh, there's so many different people that are giving information that we need to know that the mainstream media will not tell us. So let the haters hate. They got nothing better to do. This information is important, provided it happens. And again, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm guaranteeing it will. 
It's in a setup stage and anything can happen. But if it does, and China and Russia decide to overpass the U.S. dollar, the petrodollar, which is currently the world currency to buy oil, and they create either a gold-backed yuan or accept gold as payment, gold is going to see prices that you've never seen before, and it's going to happen like that, potentially. And the average person on the street, by the time they hear it, it will be so out of their reach that they will be able to afford a grain of gold if they're lucky. Do you want to be one of those people that take that chance? Go right ahead. It's your decision. If you think this is information that helps you, well, if it happens in May, uh, right now it's March, you have about a month and a quarter to two months to prepare for something. And if it doesn't happen, well, you created a stack, you got some extra food, and with you see with the price of inflation, you just save money ultimately anyway. So you do what you want. I'm just here to give information. If you appreciate it, please help me out. That's the only thing I ask for. All right, guys, enjoy your day. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, favor, and all those other particular things. And don't forget to have your trolls spayed or neutered. And join the Barnum Nation. Thanks for watching. Peace.